Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Some of the great stadiums, great traditions, great uniforms in college football. Time to put them on display. Early season action in the Big Ten. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Stadium is steadily increasing as the fans get ready for the start of this game. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Across midfield, he's finally tackled at the 43. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. They'll bring him down at the 42. Tight end. He's taken down at the 42 yard line. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Brought down around the 32 yard line. Boy, this guy really showed some giddy up getting down the field for a big game. Inside give. Hello. Nice to meet you. That makes it second and ten. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he hits him hard at the 27 yard line. Third down. And once again they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Sutton picks up about five yards on that hookup. Man, that's another first down on this drive. They've looked really good since they came out on the field. He tackles him for a loss. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Heading for the corner. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Tenth play of the drive. Toss 
bounces out to the tailback on the screen. And he tackles him hard at the 13-yard line. He's going to come up shy in the first down marker, guys. Had that not been a great defensive effort, he would have easily gotten there. This should be an easy field goal. Ohio is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Beck has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Lee fields it at the seven. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Iowa's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. He wants it all going long. And he is drilled at the 27. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Comes away with around five yards on the misdirection run. That makes it second and six. three-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Vickers gets the carry. And they make the stop around the one-yard line. First down. Knocking on the door here, it's first and goal, inside the five. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. Nice play to take the three-point lead here early in the first quarter. The question now is if they can build off this momentum later in the game. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Wildcats took the field ranked 19th in the land. A lot of heat on them to hold that spot in the top 20. And for ECU, they're in danger of losing two straight. The Wildcats are on top, 14-7. 7-3 in this one. Iowa lines up for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 31. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Ohio. So 
So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. And that'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. Ohio's got a three-point lead. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Aaron and out long. Through his hands. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Zips it to the back. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. Let's go. On the throw, incomplete pass. That's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Taylor will be the return man. They'll bring him down at the 36. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Ohio holds a field goal lead. He's into the open field. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Makes it to the 37. Gaining eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 18. That's good for a game of 19 yards. First down. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. the extra point. The Bobcats wide receiver out with an apparent injury, although he might make a comeback later in this game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Lee fields it at the two. Tackle made at the 38. The Hawkeyes know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you've got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you've got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. From the 50, first down. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing.
throw is complete. He's got room to work. And they push him out at the 40. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Taken down around the 39-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Let's go! Ray 95! Ray 95! Fires it out, and down he goes at the 34. About four yards away here on third down. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. it. He's taken down right around the 10-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. From the 10-yard line, first down. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. tight end scored that time and with authority. Brady's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he hits the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Wildcats tee it up today, ranked 19th in the country. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for ECU, they take to the air and find Pater. The Wildcats have the lead, 21-14. All right, Reese, back to our game. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Bean from the three. He's to the 20. Room around the corner. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 32-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Ohio is up a field goal. Brought down around the 46-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Darts it to the right. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. From the 32-yard line, first down. The Bobcats will use their first time out of the half. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. Inside the 10. That's a great tackle at the four yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play action passing game. Touchdown, OU! And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Just in 
He'll return it from the one. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. A minute left in the half. Incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. The Bobcats using their third and final timeout. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Ohio's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48-yard line. it out can't connect Shaw was the intended target they couldn't pick up the first down so they'll have to punt this one away great hold by the defense they were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well Hogan is the punter he's taken down at the 29 Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. He was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Makes it out to about the 39. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. He's pushed out of bounds at the 43 yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 43. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. With a quick throw. And he's tackled right away. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. 24-14, Ohio. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports. Jackson's All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He'll return it from the six. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. 
They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Let's go! Right, this is hot. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Wants to throw outside. Tackle made at the 42 yard line. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And they make the stop at the 49. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Church, the ball carrier. So the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defense's psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now are just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. And this play is number eight on the drive. Complete. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Tackle around the 28-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Inside the 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. and goal and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again defense and their short yardage package and he's tackled around the one yard line that brings up second and goal we're at the 12th play of the drive touchdown Hawkeye Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he adds the extra point. Iowa, yet 
set to kick this one away. Bean fields it at the three. Tackle at the 23. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Ohio is up by three. He makes his way out to about the 35. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Gains his way to midfield. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Gets out to around the 35. That makes it first and 10. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Third down now. They need to get it to the 25. He's looking for six. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Well, that's a great job here by the defense to knock that football away and set up a fourth down. Ohio has a three-point lead. Deep ball, laying it out there. That close to being intercepted. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Will the offensive fireworks continue? 24-21, Bobcats. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Makes it out to about the 36. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. He 
makes it to the 35-yard line. That's a game one on the play. That brings up second and nine. down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And down he goes at the 33. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Ohio is up a field goal. Go to the left for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. him down right around the 48 yard line who's on the tackle at the 48 yard line first down swings it to his tight end but he drops it second down 10 yards to go ball on their own 48 He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they finally bring him down at the 23-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's taken down at the 27. That was a loss of four yards. That brings up second and 15. Iowa's going to take their first time out of the half. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 27. Just over two minutes in the game. He's under some heat. Quick strike and he drops it. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over it. the marker and he's all the way in for the touchdown and he tacks on the extra point it was a seven play 68 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Lee fields it at the one, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. 
So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That'll bring up second and 11. Right side, got his tailback, and he's taken down at the 32 yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. On the reception, look out, nobody there. He's tackled at about the 39 yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Going long. No, incomplete. He was off target that time. Yeah, you can see his arm strength, but here he overthrew the intended receiver on the deep route. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. He flings it. That brings us third and ten. Man can't tack on any yardage. Vickers picks up around five yards with that catch. The Hawkeyes use their second timeout. So they're going to go for it here. Slings it. Brought down at the 24. Receiver touchdown. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 78-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So our score, 31-28. Tackle made at the 41. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. The Hawkeyes using their third and last timeout. From the 43-yard line, second down. We have less than a minute to go. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. at the 30 and he shoved out of bounds at about the 15 yard line and that's going to do it for this one our final score 31 28 Bobcats thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA football 14 for Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports Brad Nussler saying goodbye and we'll see you next time